Well, you don't have to look far to see how much the pandemic has driven up the cost of goods and services. And part of the problem is a sea of trouble at the ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach that handle 40 percent of the nation's imports. Here's CBS's Carter Evans. It's an L.A. traffic jam in the Pacific. Tonight, a record 70 cargo ships carrying everything from furniture and electronics to holiday toys are just waiting to get into the ports of L.A. and Long Beach. What you're seeing now is an advance of the Christmas season. L.A. Port Director Gene Soroka says shipping traffic is up 50 percent from pre-pandemic levels. The American consumer's buying strength is so strong and epic that we can't absorb all this cargo into the domestic supply chain. What does that mean for the average consumer? That means you're not going to find the product you want as quickly as normal. If you're shopping for the holidays, start now. When buyers wiped out Tony Yabaka's inventory last year, he immediately ordered 100 new bikes. Where are all the bikes right now? <laughs> Well, I'd imagine some of them are on the ships right out here in San Pedro. It is frustrating because you can look down into the harbor and see all the containers that are stacked five, six high. That's because there's a shortage of trucks and drivers to pick up the goods. There are really, on average, about 16 available truckload shipments for every available truck to move product out of there. Bob so Biesterfeld, CEO of shipping logistics company C.H. Robinson, says major retailers are paying for planes to fly in goods from overseas. Some are even chartering entire container ships. And that's something that, frankly, we've just never seen before. We expect there will be more bare shelves for the holiday season this year than people may be accustomed to. Even next year's holiday gifts may be in jeopardy. The economic logjam could continue until the end of 2022. Carter Evans, CBS News, Los Angeles.